Hello and welcome to this video tutorial about ant farms. Today we'll be discussing an overview of the game itself and what the main objectives of the game are. To get started we'll go ahead and click new game. The primary objective of the game is to simply manage your ant colony and at some point try to take over the world. Now, during that process, there are a lot of options and a lot of things that you will need to learn and master. The very first thing that you will want to learn how to do is how to actually manage your colony successfully. Down here is your colony's stats, or your colony's basic stats that you will need to keep track of. You will need to keep an eye on how many new ants you have every day. You will need to keep an eye on your workforce and how much food and space you have available. If these numbers go into the negative, that means you're mismanaging or you're not some doing something correctly. The next thing that you want to keep an eye on is your military force, your level, and your tech level. Your military force is going to tell you how much defense or offense that you have um, as far as defending your colony and conquering new land. Your level is going to be tell you how far you've made it in the game or your current progress, as well as your ant progress bar here that tells you how many ants you need to obtain before you can get to your next level. And then finally, the tech level. The tech level will tell you what your current technological level is for your colony. The higher your technological level, the more advanced your ants will be and the more likely you will be successful at taking over the world. The last things that you want to concern yourself with is the coins, your location, and your goal time. In our case, the goal time has not been started yet because I have not completed the goal time the goal tutorial. So we will simply ignore that for the moment. But what we will look at is our coins. Our gold coins are simply our money that we have to distribute or to go and buy items. Now as quickly as we can obtain gold, we can lose gold as well. If we lose battles, we will have to pay tribute. Another thing that we need to keep in mind is our location. Different locations will give us different types of bonuses. Some locations will give us a coin bonus daily. Some, bonus, some locations will give us a bonus to our food. And some will give us a bonus to our ant farm space and various other types of bonuses that we can possibly obtain. So these are all very important things that we need to keep in mind why we're generally playing the game or just simply managing the game. The next thing that we are going to go over is the management itself in general. This is where you're going to assign your ants jobs. Predominantly the two most important ants in your entire colony are probably going to be your tunnel digging ants and your foraging ants. The foraging ants carry the food back to the colony and your tunnel digging ants provide space for your ants to live. You want to probably put most of your new ants or assign most of your ants to these jobs. The second most important thing is going to be your nurse ants because you need to have a consistent flow of new ants coming in every day or the queen needs to help giving birth to these ants. So that's what the nurses do. They help the queen give birth to the new ants. And as soon as you have new ants, you need to immediately sign them a job so they're not con blindly consuming resources. The next important worker ant is your scout ant. This is the ant that's going to go out and find the food and tell your foraging ant where the food is at. They're also going to find your bonuses like your treasures and whatnot if you've actually enabled that. The next section is completely separate, I suppose, from your working. It's kind of its own thing. This is your protection. Um, this is your army ants, you know, your marines, your flying ants, and your officers, you know, and whatnot. These are the ants that are going to protect you from invaders and to help you conquer new areas. These ants are also very important. Uh, however, they do consume more resources, so you need to manage them very, very carefully. 
Otherwise, they will eat you literally out of house and home. The last section I will discuss briefly is your technology level and these other general settings. You might want to familiarize yourself with what these settings are for. Probably the most important one that you will probably use a lot is going to be your technological level or your technology level. The higher the technology level, the better your odds are of survival. Now going into your shop, this is also going to be another very important menu to you during gameplay. This is where you're going to buy your extra items uh, for like love potions for getting additional new ants, uh, your chainsaws and pickaxes for getting more food, your compasses for finding better treasure, your magic blankets for getting more ants, your boots as well for helping increase more food as well and various other items these items are all going to help you in the game and extremely beneficial that you understand what they do and how to use them everything else is pretty much just extra so these are the three main menus that you will use consistently. The ant chat will simply allow you to talk to other people or research information about real ants in the real world. This is extremely beneficial to you if you're having a hard time uh, managing your colony. You can talk to other people who are playing the game who may be more successful at managing their colonies and they can share tips with you. Your travel is simply for traveling. You simply can travel to new locations. As mentioned before, you can get bonuses. Your battle menu is simply to help you obtain more land and more resources. You, If you win a battle and you have battle loot in the Avold, you can force other insects or critters or humans or aliens or whatever your enemy may be you can force them into paying you a tribute where you can obtain more coins you can obtain more food you can obtain slaves you know or various other items through tribute and last but not least your options in your main menu is simply where you can adjust the gameplay or you can simply start a new game And the goal, of course, is simply just goals that are just additional bonuses for the game that will help you along the way. In our case, this is the goal tutorial that we're working on, and the goal tutorial is designed to familiarize yourself with the game. Once you unlock the game, the goal tutorial will be unlocked, and that will be your first goal that you that you'll need to complete. There are a total of 10 goal tutorials currently. You need to go through all the goal tutorials to unlock your generalized goals so you can actually start getting your regular goals once again. Highly recommend that you complete the goals in order and complete the goal tutorial because it will help you familiarize yourself with the game. Much more so than probably what the help menu is going to be able to provide for you just by simply reading. This concludes our tutorial.